Hi guys, my name is Erica Virgo and welcome to our See You at School virtual program. April is Financial Literacy Month, so we're going to be talking to you guys about money and why you need it, what makes it so important, and also talking a little bit about banking and some important words you need to know involving banking. And then lastly, we're going to talk about how you can start saving your own money right with us at Bright Star. So let's get right to it. Ask yourself, where do you keep your money? Maybe you keep it in a piggy bank. Maybe you're the type that likes to have all your money in a jar. Or maybe you already have a wallet and you keep all of your money there. These are great places for your money, but a better place for your money is in a bank. Banking is when you put your money in a financial institution, which are those big bank buildings, and you start saving your money and putting your money there. At a bank, you can take money out, you can put money in, and you have your own account where the bank keeps your money safe. What's the purpose of banks? Like we just said, at a bank, you can save money there, you can take out money from your account, and you can even borrow money when you get older. But all of the money that you put in at the bank goes into your bank account, and the bank keeps it safe for you. So that's why most of the adults you'll see will have bank accounts or put their money in a bank because it keeps it safe and it's an easy way for them to handle all of their money. What's a credit union? A credit union like us, Bright Star, is just like a bank. We do everything that the banks do. We are just smaller banks focused on service and serving you guys. You usually end up saving more money at a credit union and at a credit union, you're a member, not a customer, which is a big difference because that goes into making sure that we can best serve you. So at a bank, you can have what's called a savings account. The goal of the savings account is to save money. So that account, you're not trying to pull money out, you're trying to put money in. Every time you put money into your account, it's called a deposit. The deposits are when you put money into your account. And saving money, as we all know, you have to be able to save some money up to buy things that you want in the future. So saving is super important. Just like we have to spend money or your parents have to spend money, they also have to save. So like we just said, deposits are when you put money into your account. A withdrawal is when you take money out. So if I'm putting $10 into my savings account, I'm making a $10 deposit. If I go back to the bank the next week and I take out $10 from my account, I'm making a $10 withdrawal. So those are important words to know. Deposit, money going in, withdrawal, money coming out. So let's review some of the words we just went over. The bank a place where you keep your money safe. A credit union is a bank that's all about service. A savings account, a bank account where you save your money. A deposit, putting money into your bank account, and a withdrawal is when you take money out of your bank account. Those are some important money words to know. So let's talk about savings goals real quick. It's super important to know what you're saving for and just to have an idea of the different types of goals. There are short-term savings goals, which is a small amount of money that you want to save. Maybe you want to save up $5 for something that you want at Publix or, you know, something little like that, some candy, things like that. Those are short-term savings goals. Then you have medium term savings goals. So something that's not super, super cheap, but something that isn't so hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So maybe you wanna get a new movie or a new book or even a new game. That would be a medium term goal because it doesn't cost super, super, super small amounts of money and it doesn't cost big amounts of money. And then you've got those long-term savings goals. Like let's say you wanna buy a new TV or a PS5, those are gonna cost a couple hundreds of dollars. So those are gonna take you longer to save that money up. But it's important to kind of think about the things you want and what 
category they fall into. Do you have short-term goals, middle or long-term goals? Whatever type of goals you have, it's important just to save money because you can not only buy the things that you want, but you can just save your money up and watch it grow over time. Banking is a great way to help you save money. When you put your money into a bank, it's not in a piggy bank or in a jar where you can pull from it all the time. It really helps you to save it and put it away. Money or banking makes you a better saver. It keeps your money safe and it helps your money grow faster. And you can get a savings account with Brightstar. You can get a savings account from age five and up. So as long as you're age five with your parent or guardian, you can get your own savings account. And with a Bright Star savings account, you join what's called Cosmos Kids Club. Every time you go into the bank and make a deposit, you'll get a sticker on your Cosmo chart. And every five stickers, you get a prize from the bank's treasure box. So that's just a little extra something that we do to help you guys really want to save money and see that it's important. So how can you get an account? Well, you definitely need your parent or guardian to sign you up. They can visit the website on here, bscu.org slash CU at school and print off the membership application. They can help you fill it out or they can fill it out. And the application can be dropped off to any of our branches, mailed to the branch or emailed. If they choose to email it, the email address is right here for them to fill out. And if you don't have a printer at home, you can just stop by with your parent or guardian to any one of our branch locations and you can join there. Oh, also it's important to remind you guys, when you come into the branch or when you fill out the application, you will need your parent's driver's license and either your student ID or a copy of your social security card. Very important to mention that. So where are our branch locations? These are our branch locations here. So you can go with your parent to any one of those branches and sign up to be a Bright Star member. So I'm gonna put, make sure that's up here so you can see all of our locations. And I wanna thank you, thank you for this for joining me for this quick video on Money 101 and hope you have a great rest of your day.